Hello gardening friends. This is number six in my installments on various palms that will grow in a zone 8B garden. And this video is dedicated to the Phoenix Canariensis or the Canary Island date palm. This particular palm I planted about 30 years ago, slightly less than that. When I bought it, it had no trunk. And the Canary Island date palm is, it's a beautiful palm. I've been told it will grow to be 40 feet tall. I'm sorry, 20 to 30 feet tall. Uh, in any event, it's a beautiful looking palm. It was the most expensive of the palms that I bought many years ago. It was in a three foot diameter pot and took three men. I had it actually planted from the store that I bought it from. They used to specialize in palms. And it has done well in this spot. I do cut the uh, dead leaves off, otherwise the fronds would just fall back against the trunk and shrivel up and turn brown. And eventually they would fall off. And I thought I would do this this afternoon because with the sun setting, it really lights up the palm nicely here. I haven't really had many problems with this palm. Uh, one of the features of the Canary Island date palm is that it does show mang uh, magnesium deficiency by yellowing fronds, although some fronds are naturally yellow. If the new fronds at the tip are yellow, then it's more of a worry than the older fronds turning yellow, because that's kind of a natural thing. And the way to stop the yellowing is to feed it Epsom salts. Of course, the problem with that is you have to know how much to feed them, and it depends upon the height of the palm. And this palm is now beyond measuring, so I have to kind of guesstimate how much I put on it. I don't know, I'm hoping you can see here. Uh, it's nice when it gets up tall like this. One of the nasty features, you know, I've been talking about different spines and thorns on palms. Well, the Canary Island date palm, it has these long fronds and the leaves as they approach the stalk fold in on themselves and basically become about a four or five inch needle uh, and they are nasty. <laughs> These are the needles that if they puncture your skin the tips break off under the skin and it may take a couple of weeks for them to fester and actually be removed from your skin. It hurts when they go in and so you're never really quite sure if you've got the whole thorn out or not until it is, and what a relief. Uh, at this point, it's really tall. I can still cut at the fronds using a saw and a stick to take the dead ones away. I leave this dead around the growth tip because a palm is basically a grass. It only has one growing tip. And should a hard frost, although this is hardy in my zone, you want to somehow protect the tip of the palm because if anything happens to the tip, that's it. When I had my oak trees removed, I was very careful. In fact, I kind of stood by the palm while they were dropping the trees around me because I wanted to make sure no branches fell on the heart of this particular palm because if they do and snap it, that's it. The palm will not regrow. Uh, so what I do is I keep this, this lower bit is basically all soft and it falls off from time to time, but it kind of also helps act like insulation. And there you have the Phoenix Canariensis. The trunk is, is kind of a neat looking trunk. It's the scars that the, the leaves leave. It's a very tough bark. So it's a, you can see the scale of it. It's a pretty huge trunk of the tree. And supposedly it narrows here and there 
on bad years where uh, it doesn't grow well or doesn't get enough nutrition, it'll narrow down sometimes and then fatten out again. It's just a matter of how well fed it is. And this I have to feed at least three times a year, if not four. And there you have it. Again, nasty thorn, something to watch out for. I was so glad when it got over my head and I didn't have to worry about them anymore. And let's go and see what the palm book says about this. Again, this is Betrock's Guide to Landscape Palms. And Canary Island Date Palm, Phoenix Canariensis, typical height 40 feet from the Canary Islands, growth rate is slow, hardiness zone 8B to 11, I'm in an 8B. It, it's highly drought tolerant, it's adaptable to a lot of different soils, uh, it's basically a specimen tree. It has major problems. It can get palmetto weevil and palm leaf skeletonizer. I've never had either, but basically they attack the heart of the palm. Uh, the diseases it can get are lethal yellowing, magnesium deficiency, Ganoderma, Stigmina leaf spot, Graffiola false smut, and Phytophthora bud rot. <laughs> I didn't have problems with any of those. The only thing I do have problems with a little is magnesium deficiency. And again, for that, you use magnesium sulfate. Other than that, it really hasn't caused any issues with me, other than the fact that when it was smaller, I used to get stuck quite a lot with the thorns and uh, have the scars to prove it. Well, there you have it. Have a good day. Phoenix Canariensis, Canary Island Date Palm.